This video series covers the basics of working with our Central Software Suite. If you don't have Central up and running yet, you may want to check out our Getting Started video for more information. This tutorial covers file storage. The file storage application within Central is used to save recorded data to the local computer. While it has a relatively simple user interface, this tutorial will cover all of the options available. Before we begin, it is important to know that the file storage application has multiple versions that serve the same core functions but require different parameters based on the research environment. Clinical researchers are required to use our Neuroport Central Suite and are therefore required to use the TOC version of our file storage interface. For other researchers, there is an option to choose between the TOC interface and the 2.x interface. This can be accessed in the Options menu of the main central application under the File Storage App Interface section. This tutorial will cover the use of the TOC File Storage App Interface. The File Storage application is well organized into a few separate panels. It has patient information fields at the top, file name parameters in the bottom left, recording parameters in the center, and a recording information overview on the bottom right. After all patient information fields with asterisks have been entered, save location can be written into the editable text box or selected in Windows Explorer using the Browse button. Generally, it is best to save data to a dedicated internal data drive, such as the large D drive that is included in our BlackRock host PCs. The file name, in the TOC version, we recorded as the date and time of the file recording to offer a layer of patient data protection and consistent organization. In addition to any other comments placed into the file, you can additionally input a file description that contains any information about the recording that you would like. This will be saved into the file's metadata and can be viewed later using our data loaders. Some of the most commonly used file storage options are shown under the Additional Options panel. Checking the Record For checkbox will allow one to define how long the recording should go before automatically stopping. Enabling remote recording control will allow control of the recording status using either the serial or digital inputs of our data processors. The parameters used for these ports can be defined using the setup button next to this option. The file splitting option is enabled by default and causes long recording to be split up into multiple files for file sizes that can be more easily manipulated. To disable file splitting, simply check this box. The recording information is shown on the right side of the window. The elapsed time indicates the time since the recording was started. This will only differ from the recorded time if the file was paused for any reason. The TOC version of the interface does not allow pausing, so these numbers should remain the same. The spike count field counts the number of spikes across all channels, and the packet count field counts all packets received from the NSP. File size, in megabytes, is updated periodically and indicates the cumulative size of the files on disk. The section field indicates how many sections the file has been divided into during pausing. With no pauses, the file should be only one section long. Finally, the available megabytes measures the space available on the currently specified drive. If the drive becomes low on space, file storage will issue multiple warnings before reaching the end of the disk. In addition to these commonly used on-window options, there are additional parameters in the Options menu of File Storage. Enabling Sync Pulse will send a rarely repeating bit pattern out of Digital Output 1. The bit sequence is sent out every 14 seconds and has enough unique representations to last an hour. This Sync Pulse can be used to synchronize the NSP with other devices by recording the bit pattern on each device separately and then aligning the data to the unique pulses. Inverting the sync pulse will simply flip the voltage transitions. The Remove Noise option will reject all waveforms classified as noise from being recorded to the file at all. Waveforms are only classified as noise through the use of auto thresholding or when defined during online spike sorting. The classification of noise units is covered in our online spike sorting tutorial. The Sync with Neuromotive option is checked by default and allows Central to communicate with our video tracking system Neuromotive to allow simultaneous recording, control, and playback. The options for automatic file splitting, shown at the bottom of the window, allow you to control the frequency of file splitting. Enter either a time or a file size and the program will calculate the other parameter and split the file at that frequency. Now that all of the options are set for recording, we can simply click the large red 
record button to begin the recording. After beginning the recording, many options within this window and Central as a whole, such as sampling rate, will not be able to be altered. During recording, most of the window will be disabled besides the ability to stop the recording. The stop option will simply stop the recording and close all file writing. In addition to the file type specified in the file options panel, every recording will also include a central configuration or .ccf file. You may recognize this from our other lessons on central. This file contains the configuration of central so that the experimental setup associated with this recording can be easily set up again by simply loading the .ccf in the main file menu of central. Further, if recording with the TOC version of the interface, there will be a few additional files, such as a .csr, .sif, and .toc file type that are saved with every recording. The .csr is a central sorting rules file and contains information on the parameters used for spike sorting if histogram peak count was used. The SIF contains information about the session, such as the data placed into the patient information fields. The TOC contains information about which files are associated with this session of the recording and can be opened in a simple text editor, just like the others. That concludes our tutorial on the TOC version of our file storage app. For more information on the 2.x interface, be sure to check out our other tutorial on file storage. For additional information on any of our products, manuals can be found at www.blackrockmicro.com.